Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Hold on a second. There we go. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 special where... Well, it's not a special. It's an episode. It's just another episode. Um, we were working on um, the next floor in our thing. And if you haven't watched my videos before, please do like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out. I'm calling it out at the very beginning of the video because apparently that's where everybody watches. So hello, hi, welcome, subscribe. <laughs> I usually don't do that. I usually wait until the very end, but um, if you don't make it to the end, then I can't remind you to subscribe and turn on notifications and all that good stuff. But if you've never seen one of my videos before, this is Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and basically this is a, a like a vlog. I mean, it's a it's more like a podcast than anything. And uh, I, I don't keep up with like current events and, and talk about news and stuff, but I do talk about emotions and I talk about everyday life of dealing with bullies and the things that we have in our lives, you know? And today, I'm gonna to be talking about um, being nervous because Today, we just, uh, like today, it's Sunday, by the way. Um, it's not Monday. Monday is when you're gonna be watching this. Sunday, we tore down our pool. And we tore down, um, we, we power washed the fence, our back fence. And um, I cleaned out a ton of stuff in the garage. Like, there's, there's so much room, but I'm tired. I'm like super tired. And I'm nervous. I'm really nervous about getting everything ready for us to move, you know? And that's, it's understandable. So what I like to do is like, I use this moment to talk about being nervous and change. And what I think happens is by me talking about it on here, it kind of translates into me calming myself down. You know, uh, I think by me using, using the videos to talk about it, it in turn helps me to deal with it in my own way. Uh, I hope that made sense. <laughs> um, I saw that you guys really did like the, the, the post that we had here. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Uh, it's not that one. It's the other smooth wall, that one. So let's see. Let's get this evened out. One there. Gotta look down. Oh, maybe. Where is it? There it is. Couldn't see it. One there. Did we go one or did we go two? One, two. We went two units. So that needs to go. No, I didn't want to build another one. I just wanted to move this one. So that technically doesn't go there. That. That one goes right here. Let's see. One, one. There we go. Just like that. Same with this one. We need to go right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Why is it not? There we go. Fine. Fine. It's being difficult tonight. Um. I actually had a little bit of a problem trying to start the video um, because I still had my like desktop audio on and um, I didn't have my green screen set up because I, I was moving everything today. Um, I currently have six televisions sitting outside. Seven, if you count the big screen TV. And um, we called the, the guys that do the moving. It was um, 1-800-GOT-JUNK or something like that. They're going to come and pick it all up tomorrow and... We were trying to get them out tonight in between four and six and just, it didn't happen. Like they kept calling back with like, well, I got some bad news for you. Well, I got some bad news for you. I'm like, guys, seriously, if you can't do it, just tell me you can't do it. And then like, we'll do it tomorrow. But don't wait until I've got all of the stuff moved out and into the driveway and then call me, you know? Of course, you know, unforeseen circumstances. So I can't be mad at them. It, it happens, you know? I can only keep going with what I know. And that's be firm, fair, and impartial, and, and have fun. No, is, it, is this one? Is it? Uh, sound like Ozzy Osbourne there for a second. Uh, 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 Sharon! 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 The dog pooped on the carpet again. 
I'm Ozzy Osbourne. I don't, I don't mean to make fun. I, I really like his accent. Is it Welsh? Is he, is he Welsh? I don't, I don't know. It's been so long since I've watched the Osborne or like done any commentary over Ozzy. For those of you that don't know who Ozzy Osbourne is, Google something and please <laughs> educate yourself on who Ozzy is. Crazy. That's how it goes. Millions of people living like fools. Sorry. All right. Uh, where did where did we go? We went one. Oh, oh there's one, 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 one. Right there. That's good. That's a good one right there. And then we'll do one more. Boop like that. Nice. And then um, it was the floor. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Right there. We watched Coming to America 2, or the, the, the second one tonight. It was so good, and it was so nostalgic. Like, I've been feeling very nostalgic lately. I busted out the, uh, the old uh, dolphin emulator last night, and I started playing A Boy in His Blob again. Because I lost my original save files, and that's the reason that A Boy in His Blob stopped the series. It wasn't because I got bored with it. It wasn't because um, it wasn't getting views. It was because I lost the save files and I felt really bad about it. And I never told anybody. So I stopped playing it for a really long time. And I think I'm going to try and get back into the series. But the problem is I've got to get back up to the level where I was, which means I've got to go play some more. Uh, and it was boy in his, a boy in his blob for the Nintendo Wii, not the original Nintendo. Uh, I know whenever I play like original Nintendo or Atari or any of the like old school games that I grew up on, you guys are like, oh, this is boring. I don't want to watch it. And I understand. I really do. Because I go back to some of the old graphics. I'm like, geez, this is what I grew up on? Really? But it's really nice to have an appreciation for knowing where this stuff came from. Knowing where Roblox like came from. Because it is. It's fall over. Roblox is the brainchild of many other video games before it and lots of other leadways into what we have now. And that's with all games, all video games. Um, something that doesn't get enough credit that I don't think a lot of, like I'm pretty sure none of you actually know about is called Neverwinter Nights. And if you guys don't know what it is, I highly encourage you to go look up Neverwinter Nights and try and just see one of the original RPGs. It was one of the original games that took Dungeons and Dragons and made a game strictly off the manual to show you everything that there's supposed to be. And it wasn't intended as a storyline game. It was intended, hold on. It was intended more of a tool set for you to go and create your own campaigns. Because there's so many ways to do that stuff better than they did in the actual storyline. The original, ooh, excuse me, the original storyline, if you go and play, oh my gosh, I'm going to burp into the mic all night. Oh, if you go and play the original storyline, it's fine. It's, it's a well-rounded, nice game to play. But there's so much more that you can do. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just imagine Dungeons and Dragons Digital. It was like the first actual good D&D &D game. What am I doing? I don't need to do that first. I need to do these first. Because if I don't do these first, hold on, let's cut up here. Then I'm going to end up in a world of heart because I'm going to be trying to put the, the birch wood in between. Never mind. I'm just talking to myself. It's fine. It's fine code. But if you are nervous about something, say you've got a test this week, all right? Deep breath, calm down, and realize it will be okay. You can get it done. Just make sure that you study. And I know a lot of the times I preach against like hardcore study, like you are not being trained correctly in how to memorize things, okay? You're being trained in school how to regurgitate information, how to research and regurgitate information, which 
is pretty much what you're going to be doing in like job settings. Like that's that's how jobs work, especially with like uh, finance reports. You go and research the things, you make the reports, and then you regurgitate the information for a presentation, stuff like that. That's basically how it works. Now, if you're working a help desk job or something like that, you're going to need to think for yourself. Critical thinking, thinking outside the box. Listen to the whole story, f- figure out the problem, and and go from there. Okay, And that's if you're working an actual help desk job, not a scripted phone answering service. That's what I call them. Um, because I can tell. If you call AT&T or if you call um, like Mediacom or some kind of internet service provider, you're going to get a guy on the other line that's reading off a script. And you can tell it's been reading, it's reading off of a script. It's just horrible. Should I go try and get some lights? I thought that was the point of this last one. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if Hoover's over there. If he is over there, I'll go grab us some lights. But if he's not, and then we'll just go get some lamps. It'll be fine. Whoa! Lag in the sound delay. It's the sound delay. It's like a. It's like an on delay. Yeah. That's, that's bad. Bad pun code. Bad. Bad pun. Well, it looks like he is here. How long have we been recording? Uh, 11 minutes? So, I will pause till the boat ride's over. And then that way you guys don't have to, to sit here and just listen to the engine roar the whole time. So, I'll, I'll be back. Well, the good news is I did not have to wait long on that ride. That was, that was really quick. So. <sighs> had a really good comment today. And I, I actually, I want to read it off to you guys. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Go here to here. There's the comments section. Uh, no, back off. Go in there. Scroll down to comments. More. <clears throat> there it is. From God's uh, Bear God's perfect idiot. Okay. It says, Hey Code, I just wanted to say that sometimes are difficult and it can be hard to overcome. I was one of the I was one of the people who couldn't overcome those hard times which led to depression. But ever since I have watched your videos, I have been feeling happier and you, your advice is truly amazing. I can't stress enough how thankful I am. You are the best. Keep going strong. And I'm actually, I'm going to go pin that because it's amazing. And so, I don't often pin comments, but when I, when I have a comment that I read and I end up reading it out loud to my family and just, like, it starts a whole discussion, that's the kind of comment I like. And you guys are free, free to comment whatever you want. You can, you can comment, hey code, or hi, first. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're commenting, it means that you're interacting with the channel, and I'm glad you're having a good time. I'm glad you're here. Um, a lot of the times, people will look at the numbers, and even I used to look at the numbers. Like, I still do sometimes. And people are right. My, my videos don't get nearly the, the views that it used to. And I also know that it is currently... Um, February, uh, January, February, March, it's March time frame, so it won't start picking back up until like April, May, which this year is going to be kind of hard because of the whole getting ready to move thing, so I don't expect it to get truly better until like we're halfway through the year, so it's, it's fine, as long as I've got one person who's still watching, or one person who still hears what I have to say, then I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue to play and have fun and play video games for my entire life. I plan to retire playing video games. No matter what my actual job is, no matter what my family's doing, no matter where we're at in life, video games are not really my escape, they're, they're more a part of me, they're a part of my life. And I hope they're part of my life for all of my life. Um, something that I know 
for fact, like factually, is that video games growing up, people scoffed at them. There, there were a lot of people who made fun of me for being a gamer. And there was a lot of people who said gaming would never be a thing. It, it, you couldn't make a living at video games. Yeah, you can. You absolutely can. Being a beta tester, being a programmer, being a, a game developer, an art designer, music, music maker. There are so many aspects of games that gaming is no longer entertainment. It is now like a way of life. And it's truly exciting to know I'm part of that. Whether I'm influencing someone or whether I'm doing it myself, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm inside the game, inside something playing. It, Roblox, if you had asked me seven years ago, do you ever see yourself being a, a famous YouTuber making videos on Roblox? I would have laughed at you then. I would have giggled my little butt off, like, <laughs> it's Roblox? No. But looking back at it now, I'm just like, wow. And it was one video in particular, and it was how to get the, the Goldwood with Blobby. Blobby is the one that said, record this. This is what you're doing. This is what you want to, like, do, so record it. And I, I still, to this day. Like, it puts a smile on my face thinking, Blobby, you did that. And even if you're not watching the video right now, even if you have moved on to bigger, badder YouTubers, or if, wherever you're at in life, dude, thank you. It's, it's him. The reason I started YouTube was my kids, but the reason I started Roblox was him. And... The whole reason I got into Roblox in the first place was because my kids um, wanted to play what Ethan Gamer TV was playing at the time. The, is, is it Ethan? I think he's the. I think he's the British kid. Uh, I know he's he's got a very proper accent, and he played uh, like Escape McDonald's where he was jumping over a fry pit or something like that. Oh, that's so good! It's so good! Oh, I just remember his voice too. Uh, anyhow, he actually played like Beoblades with like some of his friends or something like that. Anyhow, uh, long story short, he's the one that got my kids interested in watching him. And from there, I created them some accounts and myself an account so I could go play with my kids. You know, uh, they were they were wanting to watch him. And I said, why don't we go play it? And then I found out that it had a whole studio of development and I got into like how the game actually works how it's set up and that you could make your own games I thought that was amazing but that was also at a time where my kids were watching a bunch of inappropriate youtubers Markiplier Jacksepticeye PewDiePie I'm looking at you and everybody was kind of following their lead Cursing, cussing, shouting, screaming. And it was just a just kind of a chaotic time. But I mean, even even my 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 idol, the one I look up to, Tabuscus, he was a little edgy, you know? Hey, he he would walk in here and be like, hey, what's up, girl? Hey, how you doing? And it was, it was gonna... Hot 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 hot. <laughs> and that was Edgy, you know? He never crossed the line of like cursing, but I mean, he would still say pretty inappropriate stuff. And I was like, I can do this. I can do this without the cursing, without the cussing. So I sat down, I looked at the formula of what they did for their videos. Good description. Lots of information inside the, the, the description of the video. Lots of, uh, on the thumbnail, personal thumbnails. You know, recorded pretty much every day. Like release a video every single day. Even if you, you're not, uh oh, did I not purchase that one? Even if you're not feeling good, even if you're, you've like not really got an idea for the day, go and record, grind it out, have fun, and you'll make it. 
Now, something that I took into account was the fact that I'm older. They're younger. But you know what? What changed is they started growing up too. And the YouTubers of today, a lot of you guys, like, you change to family friendly. Like, it's, it's weird to know that, like, a lot of the inappropriate YouTubers of the day of growing up, whenever, like, not growing up, but, like, when I started, have changed or have died off. You know? And YouTube went and changed so many policies. Like, there used to be this one, uh, it was a, a trolling channel. Like, the whole point was to troll people, and I thought it was a great channel. YouTube did not. They ended up, like, losing a ton of followers and tons of things because they couldn't do what they wanted to anymore. It was no longer a trolling channel. Which was kind of, kind of a sad moment, but you know what? It was fine. Thank you, Link. I appreciate it. I think that should be enough lights. And if, uh, it's too late. Hoover's already gone. But anyhow. Yeah, that's, I, you can become a YouTuber. Any one of you. And it's going to be your channel to control. So if you want to be family friendly, you go for it. If you want to do your own thing, you go for it. The point of me saying everything is I want to encourage you. If you have a want to go become a YouTuber, stop making excuses that you can't do it. You don't need high-tech equipment. You don't need a Yeti microphone. You don't need a Logitech camera. You don't need lighting. You just need you. You need you and to have fun. And I can guarantee you, if you're not authentic on video, people are going to know it. People can pick up on that. So if you're screaming into the microphone every single time and you're making making crap up, if you're just saying stuff off the top of your head, not like me, like I, I still do that, but I'm, if you're blatantly lying on videos, like these videos that go live for 12 hours at a time claiming to give away free Robux by like, commenting, subscribing, typing your name into the chat and then stay here to watch so you can see if your name got picked. Those are fake. And they get fake subs. They, they get these subs that are never going to watch their channel because they didn't win and they found out that they were duped. It was just... <sighs> sad, you know? It's sad that that worked for so long and now you see it and those channels that had that aren't around anymore. I just, I feel bad sometimes. I feel bad that we had to compete against that. The, the authentic, actual Robloxian YouTubers, you know? Uh, Intel, was it Intel or Funky? One of those guys said in a tweet the other day, like, I was, I was the most authentic guy, or I was the most kindest, nicest guy, and I was there whenever they all started. And it's, it's true. I'm, I was there when all of them were taking off, you know? And I never wanted to get in the way of that. I never wanted to make somebody feel bad that they had less subscribers than I did. If you, if you don't have 100 subscribers, that is okay. I would still collaborate with you. I would still do collaborations. Now, I haven't been doing collaborations in like a long time with pretty much anyone except the close inner circle that I already know. But that's not to say I wouldn't start doing it again, you know? In fact, I should probably start. And if you're commenting right now, code, collab with me, that's fine. You can comment whatever you want. Um, I probably won't accept them, but you'll get a heart if you comment. I'll try and heart everyone. But, all right, I'm gonna pause it while I'm getting all sentimental. One more quick story. While we were cleaning up the other day, um, my wife, found a little tube of Dungeons and Dragons dice. If you don't know what it is, it's uh, three six-sided dice, one four-sided dice, um, one eight-sided dice, two ten-sided dice, one twelve-sided dice, and then one twenty-sided dice, right? I think there might be another one, but I can't remember. Anyhow, what's funny is um, 
and I'm, I'm just going to say this in all honesty. I stole that. And I'm not talking about it like, like it was one of my friends and I stole it. I'm talking about it was in this place called Babbage's, which back in like 1984, Babbage's got started. Anyhow, they got bought out by GameStop later on down the line. And it was high school. I was dumb. And I'd gone in there with no intent of taking anything, but one of my buddies came up behind me and slid two tubes of the dice in my Jinko pants, because I had, I had big pants. So I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, we need dice. All right. I just kind of went along with it. I don't know if it was peer pressure, if I just didn't care. I, I don't remember what the whole situation was, but I remember walking out of Babbage's and the dice were jiggling, like they were jingling in my pocket. And I was so nervous. Don't ever do that. That was that was the stupidest thing. I, like That's not the stupidest thing I could have ever done. Because I've done some stupid stuff in the past. But I tweeted about it. And I said, at Babbage's, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I've told that story to a couple of people. Um, but when I told it to my wife, she's like, Really? Dice? Because <laughs> Babbage's had movies, music, uh, all kinds of like high dollar, sixty dollar things, and this was like a little two dollar tube of dice. It was. <sighs> I'm dumb. <laughs> Anyhow, um, at GameStop, if you guys are even watching or if you even care. I'll pay you the five bucks that it cost for the dice because I know that was part of the inventory that got bought out by GameStop. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure you've gotten your amount from all the games I've resold to you. But anyhow, the point is, we make stupid decisions in our lives sometimes. Some people, when they make a stupid decision, they get caught and charged hardcore on some pretty bad stuff sometimes. Other times you're in a circumstance where you made a stupid decision to be with someone who put you in that stupid situation. My point being, if you ever get incarcerated, because I, I used to be a prison guard, and I want to say this, if you ever get incarcerated and you become a prisoner or an inmate or a convict, don't take that with you. Unless you, you have like a life sentence, you're going to get out. Don't let that become a label. Ever. If you get in trouble and you get detention, don't let that determine who you are. Because we all make mistakes. Some of us get caught. Some of us do it intentionally with, with ill intent to others. But the point is, we are all human. We all make mistakes. And the best thing you can do is forgive the person who did it or forgive yourself. So, hold on. And I just, I wanted to tell you, Hoover, that I forgive you for all the times that you've you flipped my truck and dumped all of my wood. Hey, <laughs> Code, you don't have to forgive me for that. I do it for fun. I, I know you do. It's just part of who you are. <laughs> Thanks, Code. I appreciate that. You're, you're welcome, Hoover. You're welcome. Did you guys know that he, uh, uh, Devaltio updated the game? I completely forgot to tell you that. Um, but yeah, Inside Lumber, it says it was 3-1-2021. So it's, it was March 1st, it was, it was updated. So I don't know what he updated, because when I go to look in the, the change log, last entry was in like 19th of May, so. Um, I don't know. April, that was 19, that was back in 2020. That was last year. Oh wait, is this from, no, 2021. 3 one 2021. Something was updated. So, I wonder, I wonder what he did. Curious and curiouser. If you know what was updated, comment down below. Let me know. How long does it take? Please, move. It's taking forever. I just kind of noticed, like, you, you can always tell when I'm going to pause it because it's it's this, this movement right here. So it's like, boop, like that. See, it's like a pause, pause kind of kind of movement. And you just, you know that it's been paused. 
because it, it like there's a little glitchy thing. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's actually 30 minutes. I just I was looking over at the time and I'm like, well, that's that's strange. Look at look at the 30 minute time. So. I'm just going to end it. I'm going to take all this back over to the, the shop. Hopefully, hopefully or no, back to the base. And hopefully uh, Hoover doesn't flip me on the way. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does at the end of the videos. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. I love you for that. And if nobody said it to you today, I love you. Have a great day. Have a great night. I hope your day goes very well. All right, I'm out. <sighs> Outro. Some people have asked me like, oh no, I'm moving. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.